सो अगेन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब सेशंस एंड दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप गोविल एंड दिस इज़ अ ब्रीफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट अस सो वी आर डूइंग द पिक्चर एम सी क्यूज एंड अगेन वी हैव द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑन द पिक्चर एम सी क्यूज वी हैव लर्न फाइव एम सी क्यूज ऑफ पिक्चर इन द लास्ट सीरीज so now we again join back to the remaining picture mcqs from psychiatry so basically it's also a way to learn psychiatry through the help of the picture mcqs which has been asked or could be asked in the exam so we again go to the uh first of all brief telling about us we at an academy are running a foundation batch the mcq revision batch jipmar pgi marathon batch and this is my telegram group of dr sandeep gobel and we are having a 7 pm every thursday special classes from psychiatry and youtube sessions also we are fixed for the you know uh, 6 pm at the picture mcq so we have scheduled up everything very systematically so that whenever you have time you can see it up watch it up and learn the learning so learning has to be keep on going every moment every time and without any disruptions so we have the live classes which can be also assessed on the free live classes how to prepare for neat pg what are the common you know ways mistakes the student does and how to overcome that by most of the best educators in the platform simple to join us one month is only 4500 but full year is about 2200 22500 and easy to join you can pay through the credit card and there is option of the emi also sometime we feel have financial difficulties so we can choose for M emi options available for the most of the standard banks so this is what i have been talking about so 5:30 pm in the every evening we have five mcqs picture in 3 5 15 minutes then we have five images in 15 minutes then 6:30 we have case study we have pre intern series by dr sanket and we have the integrate session on the monday and wednesday at 8 pm we have quiz at the 9 pm syndromes at the 9:45 pm and 10 pm we have the central exam flash card series and it is starting from the 9 am so fast revision of basics for the pg exam and we have the throwback previous year questions and quiz 21 quiz clinical mcq and image based question so we are starting this foundation batch on the 18th june and will end in the november so 19 top educators of the country will teach and make the strong foundation for all the subjects trust me whatever the exam pgi jipmer aims all are based on the basic conceptual knowledge of the subject if you know the subject in concept it will be a very very easy going for any examination so we welcome you all to the an academy platform to learn the concept now this four questions we have done five question we have done in the last class the roshak and tat now we start with the this mcq we know this is a picture of the trichotillomania which was been previously a habit disorder also been categorized as a impulse control disorder it is a skin excoriation syndrome i keep on excreting my skin to 
you know get this lesion so that is what is the we know as per the dsm5 we know as per dsm5 the ocd has become a given the special importance include the obsessive compulsive disorder it include the compulsive hoarding then they ask you what is the emotions for the compulsive hoarding why anybody do that what is the cognition of the impulse compulsive hoarding one is the some things of the emotional significance and things having the future use i keep on hoarding things the first love letter the first teddy bear the first chocolate wrapper and the first rose stamp i all collected it my house become a clutter or i collect thing that sometime in future i will be using them i have a trichotillomania now included into the ocd we have the body dysmorphic disorder and we have the skin excoriation syndrome and in the icd 11 so it is also the along with this we have the olfactory reference syndrome so this is what is the obsessive compulsive disorder as per the dsm5 including both the trichotillomania and the skin excoriation syndrome clear and the latest mcq they ask you is that what is the cognition for the compulsive hoarding now this is the following symbol represent which psychiatric disorder autism sld conduct disorder and adhd it remind us of many many ribbons so ribbon method is a very very popular nowadays to represent but this ribbon with the multiple colors and multiple you know shapes and size of the in between the colors represent a spectrum of disorder called as the autism or today as per dsm 5 been called as the autistic spectrum disorder we know the various disorder like red syndrome asperger syndrome the heller syndrome they are all the under the and autism per se also they are now included under the category of autistic spectrum disorder in fact these name has not been mentioned in the dsm5 dsm5 only talked about the autistic spectrum disorder we know this is a ribbon awareness ribbon the puzzle pattern reflects the complexities of the autism autistic spectrum different colors and shape represents the diversity of people and families living with this condition the brightness of the ribbon signals hope and hope that through increased awareness of the autism through early intervention and access to the appropriate services support they will be able to live a normal life interact with world on their own terms but often this is been confused we know this is a red ribbon but the symptoms of autism are the language absent
सोशलाइजेशन एब्सेंट मूवमेंट अब नॉर्मल दे आर स्टीरियो टाइप लव फॉर मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट इंक्रीज पेन थ्रेश होल्ड इको ले लिया सो विद दिस ऑल क्वालिटी इट इज बीन कॉल्ड एज ऑटिज्म सेवेंटी पॉइंट ऑफ दैम आर मेंटली एडिड थर्टी थ्री परसेंट है जनरलाइज टोनिक क्लोनिक सीजर सो दिस ऑल इज अ क्वालिटी विद दी ऑटिस्टिक स्पेक्ट्रम डिसऑर्डर language absent socialization absent movement abnormal and there is a stereotype behavior now so this is basically another picture the red ribbon is an awareness ribbon used as a symbol of solidarity with the people of living with the hiv and also for the awareness and prevention of a drug abuse and drunken driving so it's a very simple you know red ribbon often confused with the autistic ribbon so it's a red ribbon is for the hiv also for the substance abuse and prevention of the drug abuse and drunken driving so used for three common cause hiv aids drunken driving and awareness and prevention of the drug abuse we have another ribbon next to be asked in the mcq now procedures shown here we know the ecg is getting monitored there is a eeg and there is some device called as ect in fact the mcq is simple that procedure is been done for the following illness except we know electric shock today can be done for the keratonia depression which is resistant mania which is resistant but not for the dissociative disorder so resistant depression or depression with psychotic symptom we can always go for the electro convulsive therapy but not for the dissociative disorder so this is the explanation that the shown here is the uh, electroconvulsive therapy we know to useful for the treatment of the depression resistant keratonia prolonged and severe mania and in condition where there is a need of rapid uh, and definite response so Uh, so uh, in mean time the life threatening physical exhaustion assured with the mania we can go for the electric shock but in the dissociative disorder it is not been given so commonly we as a medical man believes that anybody don't improve we give electric shock so it's not for every case it is only for the keratonia depression severe that that too and mania we may use for the electric shock for anxiety for phobia for ocd for dissociative disorder we do commonly do not go for the electro convulsive therapy now this is a break the stigma as it's a psychiatric class it could be a good hint but otherwise it is a yes it's a recently upgraded the ribbon green color for the again breaking the stigma from the psychiatric illnesses so basically we have the a uh, red ribbon for the hiv substance abuse the multiple color colored ribbon with the bright color with the multiple you know puzzle like appearances fitting into the ribbon is for the autism and the green ribbon by the american 
anxiety, depressive society. They give a green ribbon to break the stigma from the psychiatric illnesses. So we learned about the electric shock and the picture of the electric shocks and we know recently we have been as an MCQ we give atropine as a pre-medication and we give the succinylcholine and the thiopentone for what? It's a for GA, it is for the relaxing the muscles. So we give atropine just to prevent any of the cardiac arrhythmias or high pulse by the administration of the electric shock. So you must have seen these are the question in the this aims that what all are the drugs we have for the why we give the thiopentone and why we give the succinyl choline patients of the electric shock in psychiatry. So remember that electric shock is given only in the depression with psychotic symptom, depression with suicidal attempt and uncontrolled many aggression, uncontrolled schizophrenia. So these are the five indications today for the electric shock in psychiatry. So with this again I thank you so much for joining with us and enjoying some picture MCQs on the YouTube. Good luck, all the best. Hope you are liking and enjoying the session with us.